Come on, I don't weigh enough to make this chair go down, dude. It just... Okay, whatever. Pay attention. Okay. Hey, I'm Brett from Cripple Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to react to the Battlefield 5 trailer. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. Miss says that it's a thing that happened. Uh, nothing past that. So, uh, let's see what's going on. Well, the girl got shot. At least that's actual. Well, at least they don't have those crazy fucking EDF fucking motorcycles in here. <laughs> I know this is dumb, but I want to see this on my Ryzen system so that I compare it to your Intel system as far as graphics go. Well, this is running a 4K on a 2K screen. Right, right. It is, it is some amazing graphics. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got That might be one I buy. Although, now that I've watched that, it's time for Battlefield 1. Um, but what do you think of that? And the, the, I don't know. The, it looked interesting. I mean, as far as like movies go, but I, I mean, I've seen plenty of good movies and the game sucked. Or plenty of good games and the movie sucked. So, I mean... I, I guess the tale is in spending 60 bucks and seeing whether you want to send it back or not. Oh. <laughs> I mean, really. You, you, it don't tell you nothing about how the gameplay is. It shows some girl with a fucking cricket bat beating people. Uh, and you didn't notice her prosthetic? After she, after she got fucking shot. And you didn't notice her prosthetic? She had a prosthetic? Yeah. What, prosthetic boobs? Okay, that's all I noticed. She did have a nice rack for being a cartoon girl. No. See that arm? Oh, wow. Huh, she did. All I saw there was that she got shot. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she was jumping through a window. And it actually, it showed you all the changes they plan on doing to Battlefield 5 from Battlefield 1. I mean, besides, could you tell any changes besides updating the guns and stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, 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 the the up the guns were highly updated. Well, that's because of World War Two, right? But nah, it was was this World War Two? Yeah, this is World War Two. Okay. So, does this trailer make any sense to you? Not, I mean. I thought I was looking at, like, Afghanistan or something like that, man. I didn't think it was World War II. Uh, some of those guns look like they're way after World War II type. Uh, one of the guys, oh, after the girl got shot, 
right about the time he jumps out the window. I would like to see that again because I'm pretty sure that's like a post Vietnam gun in his hand. Nope, that is actually a Thompson. No, let's see it again. And the tank's a Cromwell. Okay. Okay. That, see, that was a Thompson. For so one thing, another Thompson. Uh, what about that? He's carrying a katana. Um, hold on, hold on. And that's a that's a Bren gun. Right, right, but back up a little bit. I want to see that body armor dude's wearing because is that World War II body armor? Yeah, uh, that's uh, an Italian body armor that's made out of magazines. Made out of magazines? Yes. Like full magazines? Yes. As armor? Technically, it's not armor. That didn't really work well, did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 uh, they guarded their I mean, country with spaghetti. Leave it to the, leave it to the Italians, man. Fucking, you know, everybody made fun of the Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Polish are some of the most oppressed people in the world. I know, Polish are beautiful people with a horrible language. <laughs> Okay, now, there she is again. Yeah. I thought she just died in the house. Remember, she, she you see her get splattered on the wall? No, no blood, actually. I think this would make a great movie. A lot of action. But it's just like, you can't really tell what the hell is going on. For gameplay's sake. I know, right? It is pretty confusing. Now watch. This is the best part of it, I think. Here she goes. One, two. So, let's pause that right there. You know what happened right there? Uh, how he how he shot down the plane? Luck? No, he shot a grenade. Really? Yeah. Yeah. If we go back, so I mean, dude, he must be. Wow, that didn't even have. Oh. Check that out. He hit the trigger and hit the plane almost immediately. There was no fucking... He, he didn't fucking lead into that or nothing. Well, that's because it's cinematic. Right, but I don't care if it is cinematic. He should at least lead into it. I mean, yeah. Battlefield 1 is pretty fucking accurate on the way that it makes you lead into shots and stuff. You can't just, like, hit somebody for at a dead run without fucking leading them on it. Watch this. Beautiful. Bah! Hello, With her cricket bat full of nails. Yeah, so... I mean, that part was not very accurate either. If that's World War II, why is there a girl on the battlefield? Actually, women did serve in mostly resistance fields on the front line. Um, and there were actually amputees also on the front line, too. Women did serve in World War II, mostly as nurses. Yeah, but in like the French resistance and whatnot, they actually did do combat roles. And that's but she was more, British. She wasn't well, French resistance. The French resistance I heard her British, accent. Though. So, yeah. I don't know if any actual British women did. I know a lot of French women did. Right, but she was... I know a couple American women did. A Virginia Hall is one of them. Okay. Virginia Hall, amputee who served with the... who worked with the French resistance to lead them past uh, German forces. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We'll buy the game and find out. When's it coming? When can we buy it? 
Uh, well, you can pre-order it now and get five guns for being a pawn for multiplayer. But just just to compare, this is the oh, I, can, I, can get, I can get free guns for buying it. For yeah, this is, the, this is the Battlefield One trailer. Okay. I just want you to compare the two. Yeah, I do like beating the people with a shovel in front of the F1. That's always fun. Say they put a lot more hype into the BF5 fucking. But how does it? How is how is Battlefield 5 going to compare to Battlefield 4? This is Battlefield 1. I know this is Battlefield 1. I'm saying how would Battlefield 5 compare to Battlefield 4 that everyone said sucked ass? Oh, to no. the point that I wouldn't even buy it because not a single person I know told me to buy it. Everyone told me quite the opposite of it. See what I'm saying? Well, here's the uh, Battlefield Peggy 4 trailer. 18. And actually, Battlefield 4 was not a bad game. Um, Dude, is that guy running around with a... Is he using a paintball gun? No. No, look at the hopper on top. He had a hopper on top, that first guy at the front. That was actually a scope. No, it was a hopper. And not a that. scope. Not that. That's a scope. <laughs> okay, that's what looked like a hopper. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks no. like, when he's running, see when he's running, it looks just like a hopper on top yeah. of that fucking gun. It's like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, that that wasn't. Now. This being more modern and stuff, I would really like the weaponry. Because some of these modern weapons are really fucking cool. Uh, on the other hand... Now see, that's what I want to see in a fucking trailer. I want to see fucking game clips. Yeah, I, I don't want to see a movie. I want to see game clips in the game trailer because that way I get to see what I'm buying and not the movie about what I'm buying. There, see game clips. I don't know, man. Watching this trailer for Battlefield fucking 4, I might buy it. I mean, what can, what's the worst that can happen? I can waste 50 bucks? Like, oh no, I won't be able to buy a gram of Coke. <laughs> what the fuck, Brad? Yeah. Okay, may I, you know what? I I I may end, I may end up with Battlefield Four. <laughs> I I my, that that actually looked pretty fucking cool to me. Uh -huh. I've been listening to everybody talk about not buying it, man. I mean, uh, at the worst, I I, li I liked the fucking clips from the uh, the I liked the fact that the Battlefield Four trailer had. At least half of the trailer was gaming clips, and not just the the, the movie intros and stuff. Uh, Battlefield Five, I would like to see more of the gaming clips of it to see what's actually going on in there, uh, as far as the game part of it goes. As, and that is why you have. As far as the movie games. part of it, that was confusing as hell. They, yeah. 
they just mashed it all together with a girl and a baseball bat, or actually a cricket bat. Yeah, so what a lot of people are saying is that it's a uh, feminist field now. Mm, well, whatever. I mean, what, what, girl, what, girls are free to die in video games too, man. Fucking go ahead. You can find me at Cripple Brett in EA. If you want to shoot me, girls, come on. Fucking, we'd, we'd go to Battlefield 1. Fucking, I, I would kill you just as well as him. That's a lie. Well, yeah, I can't kill him. <laughs> I, I can get lucky sometimes. Yeah, like that game where you got one kill and 50 deaths. Yeah, but I got one kill. That's the whole fucking point. It was probably a girl that I killed, too. And no, no. <laughs> No, it was an AFK guy you accidentally killed when you ran him over. Oh, yeah, yeah, there right. was that, right? <laughs> Why did he put you on that the, was the ex team? That was the accidental death, man. Yeah, I remember that now, man. Fucking, I was shooting at something else, and dude fucking ran into my fucking bullet. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Red stats. <laughs> right zero KDR. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good Two times. Deaths. Good times. One good, kill. Good times. Now, by the way, hold on. I got to get into something here. This is an E Win chair. Uh, Ms. paid two fifty for this on Amazon. It was worth every fucking penny, except I am not heavy enough to weigh the fucking thing down. Look at this, man. It fucking bounce on it, and it doesn't go down. It just keeps oozing up. But but on the other hand, if I put some meat in my ass, or I shouldn't say it that way, should I? <laughs> <laughs> if I put some weight on, <laughs> then maybe maybe it would actually like go down for me when I try. I want it to go down. But as far as comfort levels go. Man, there, get a good look at it. Where's the camera? There we go. Get a good look at it. You can't fucking beat this chair. Spend the money on it. Okay, anyway, that, that, that's enough of my shameless reviews. <laughs> yeah, it's only 18 minutes long. Uh, follow Brad on Facebook and Twitter and click the subscribe button if you want to uh, sell him. Yeah, follow me on Facebook. That's always fun. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's, uh, don't. 